how do you get all of these planners in your Lauren Phelps designs cover so that you have a compact system to take on the go? Let's talk about that. So here's my current struggle. I am trying to get the Wonderland notebook, this is a half year, to fit in the Lauren Phelps designs um, cover with the full year Wonderland planner in A6 size. <clears throat> so currently what happens is um, these two um, kind of clash with one another and it causes the pages to sort of span out and it's just not really a great fit but I would like it to be and if I could I would really love it if I could fit two full years like a full year note plus the actual planner that would be amazing um, I have this full year if I could fit two full years like this in this Lauren Phelps cover um, that would be so awesome I have heard or read uh, that you can actually use a hair dryer to stretch this now can I get it to stretch this much I don't know I'm gonna try this out and I thought well if it works it'll help <coughs> excuse me the community and um, if not well then we shall know, right? I'm not sure exactly how to do this. I guess I'm just gonna start with blow drying and tug on it and pull on it. Maybe I'll put these two books back in there and see if I can get it to stretch like that. So let's see what happens. Oh yeah, I can see it right there. Now I'm mainly working on the spine. Um, yeah, but I can see it just um i can already see it bubble up right there this is just a regular hair dryer so i do think it's good if i have the actual planners inside the book i mean inside the cover and um that's where we are so far so let's see if i can keep stretching it what i can say is i don't think that it takes much heat at all uh, to make this happen um, it seems to loosen up very easily with just a little bit of heat so um, this again is the full year planner with um, a full-size notebook and look it is almost there so I I'm excited that this might work so let's see if we can get these two planners to fit side by side. I'm going to try this with the half year Wonderland notebook um, because I would just be very happy if I had a full year planner with a half year notebook and it fit um, properly and comfortably. and look it's getting there. Now I do have to say that this um, notebook also has this smaller notebook that I put in here that I created um, monthlies on. So it does have a little bit of extra space um, and I think maybe it might would fit perfectly without that. Even if I had to buy several half years, if I could get these to fit in here comfortably, which I think I'm gonna definitely be successful at, um, then that is gonna be really fabulous. So let's try to stretch it a little bit more. We'll be working on these two books. And again, it does not take a lot. Um, this is a regular Revlon Tourmaline Ionic um, hair dryer. I used it on the high heat. You can see that this starts to warp just as soon as I put um, the heat on it. <clears throat> so I think it's just a matter of getting the heat in the right places. You can see that it's kind of wanting to warp here in the middle. Um, so I wish I had somebody else here with me that could be kind of pulling on it um, as I heat it or be heating it as I stretch it. But I'm excited that this is gonna work because it was not possible to have these two books in here before um, comfortably and 
this is pretty comfortable. I don't like how that bows in just a little teeny bit, but I believe this is gonna work. And um, if I could get two full um, books, if I could get this um, full year note along with uh, a planner in the front, that would be absolutely ideal because all of that fits right inside of my purse. So let's keep going and see if we can get it to where the spines aren't actually crushing against one another. So let's see what happens. Buckling right there. So I'm just gonna take this and stretch it and I'm gonna hold this stretch. Again, I've never done this before, so this is all new to me. So let's see if this now will get the right fit. Again, very, very close and I'm kind of wondering um, if I just left it this way or maybe close it right after. There's still a little bit of crushing on the spine, so um, I don't like, I don't like that. Um, so I'm still going to keep trying. Then I could choose to put two planners because I think I could get it to where these two would actually fit fine also, but I could have two planners. Um, and then maybe I could keep my to-dos in one side of the planner and, um, and then my schedule in the other side. So I could have um, two planners and then uh, for this side I could put my schedule and then for this side I could put um, you know, maybe the tasks list or maybe a master task list for the week. So that would be um, an awesome option as well. So, um, so see it did kind of shrink back up and um, you can tell if I put this just like this, it definitely will close and it actually will even loop just fine, but you can see that there's about this much space that um, needs to stretch. And so I kind of want to stretch it right here because I don't want to stretch this so thin that um, it bows out or that I lose the cover. Um, and actually, I do, I, I will be happy if I just have this daily, um, if I just have this daily here. If you have any tips and you've done this before, I would love to hear your tips. I'm going to leave the books in here like this and see if I can press backwards as I heat. Still pretty warm, so I don't want to let go of it. But I think this might be a way to do it. And I almost wonder if I had some really large clips and could clip this in here um, tight like that. Because see, those are, that's how I want it to be. I want it to be um, side by side without any crushing of the spines and I I wonder if we might be able to get there by doing it this way so that's starting to cool off and if I let go um, there we are there's maybe just a little bit so I think that was a good method. I think I'm gonna try it one more time and then I'm gonna put all of my things back in it. Issue again. Wow, I'm excited. Um, this is still pushing out. I, I'm not sure if that's because it's uh, because of the plastic. See how it's wanting to kind of bow up right here as well. I'm not sure if that's because of the plastic or if it's because the book can just slip out of there, but you can see that it definitely, um, this one is sitting very straight. It's definitely a lot better than it was. I wish I had another half year um, that didn't have this. This is actually glued in, so not able to take that out, but here is the second planner so maybe if I do it with two planners um, it will loosen it up enough 
to where the half ear will fit perfectly just fine. So let's try it out. And if I needed to, I could clip the books together so that they don't slide out or um, maybe even glue them together uh, once I'm sure of what my setup will be. It's still cooling off and so I want to make sure that I hold this tight while it's going through that cooling process. So this is how it looks after it's cooled off. It looks like a perfect fit for two um, Wonderland 222 planners. So this is a 2022 planner in A6 size and then there's an undated A6 planner size. Um, I don't know if it's going to stay stretched or if it will flex back once um, as I go on in time. I'm not really sure. Um, but this should definitely accommodate, accommodate a planner and a half year uh, with that insert that I have in here with no problems. And I think if I really, really wanted to, I could actually stretch this out enough to fit a full year notebook and um, a planner itself. I just am not sure if that's what I want my setup to be. Um, but let's just take a look at where we're at with a full year notebook and the full year A6 planner. So yeah, this is kind of um, where I started with the half year where the pages are kind of pressing out and I do think, I mean, obviously that fits. Um, so if you do feel like you needed a full year notebook and a um, full year planner in one Lauren Phelps cover, you can definitely make it work. I do feel like I could heat this up more. Um, see how the spines are really not crushing uh, very much. This is the Lauren Phelps Designs A6 vinyl cover with the Wonderland Planner to 2022 uh, dated planner. And this is a Wonderland notebook um, with the th a full year, the 365 pages. So I got that to fit by stretching it out with a hairdryer. And now, um, my original goal or mission was to get my half year to fit in here. And I think these are going to fit now very nicely. Um, yes, with zero problem whatsoever. Yes, there you go. This is the Wonderland 2022 planner with the half year. So now let's go ahead and put my cover, the covers, um, all of my accessories back together in here. Once I get my things back in here, those spines don't sit as um, as great together, but I think I could heat it back up and go through that same process again to see if I can get that to work. I'm going to also put this insert up at the front. So this is um, at least all of that. See if we can get this to work with all of those things inside. I'm gonna heat that spine up one more time. Let it cool off. I have tried um, to use the Hobonichi cover. Um, I just, I just like this, you know, see how much smaller it is. And this one actually fits in my purse very easily and well, and this one kind of sticks out and so I really would like to keep my cover as thin as possible. And so that is kind of the reason of why I am venturing into this possibility here. All right, it's still a little bit warm cooling off. I think I could probably do it one more time and press this back even more if I wanted to. I think um, another option would be to glue um, this cover to the cover of this book and I might do that once 2022 turns but for right now I need something um, that I can work with before 2022. Now also bear in mind that again this is 
the two Wonderland books with two um, Hobonichi inserts, if you will. And so um, if I took this insert out, it would probably be an absolute perfect fit. But this, um, I'm very happy with the results. I, yeah, I'm very happy with the results. So we'll see how this pans out over time, if it works or if it, um, if it doesn't. If you would like me to give you an update, um, drop a comment and let me know and I can come back and update how this works, but I'm very happy with this very compact um, planner setup and um, let me show you what it looks like sliding into my purse. Okay, so this is kind of what was a driver of this and why I like this little compact um, setup. This purse that I use is called a multi-sack. I picked it up at um, JCPenney's. They do have a website. Um, I also found one on Posh for like $12. I like this because in the front pocket I can put um, some lip gloss, all of my pens um, that I want to, pens and markers that I want to use for the day, and even an energy bar. And then I can keep my cards or what have you here. There's also a pocket inside. And see how this planner just fits right down in there with so much extra space like I've got extra there's so much extra I could add additional things here if I wanted to I might even be able to add a, a second book yeah um, and this purse is just perfect for that um, but if I were to use a larger I mean it just fits so well I just I, I just love it. I love the way that it just, ah, it's so easy just to take and go. Um, but if I were to use a larger planner cover, um, like this one, it's not so much. And especially if it has um, books in it. When this is full with books, it, it still fits in there, but I have to be more um, cautious and conscientious about um, getting it down in there. Uh, and pulling it out. It's just a lot bulkier, um, even with the same books, even if I had uh, a half year notebook. So let me do that to demonstrate. I wish it weren't the case. I wish it were just a little bit um, thinner. But yeah, this one is just an easy in and out. Very simple, no matter how much I have in this front pocket. It's just very simple. Um, These work, they work inside this cover. You um, will get some of that spine crushing um, in here and it will fit in this purse, but I have to worry about pulling this up. And um, I've tried both over the past few weeks and um, this one is just not, like it, I don't, I can't just slip it out. See, it, it gets stuck on the corners and um, so it's not, as easy of a fit. It's not as easy of a fit as I would like. And I don't like carrying big purses. Um, I do wish Lauren Phelps um, would consider putting a pocket in her covers like this so that we could use, um, so that I could use the page keeper. But yeah, this, um, this is just a much more compact design. And I just really love the Lauren Phelps covers. I love how compact and simple they are. I love the pockets. I love that they're so thin. They're not like really um, thick. And so if I can use this in this manner, then that is perfect for me. It fits right down in there. I don't have to worry about um, the zipper running into it and um, I can just slip it in and out very easily and it's not you know it's not chunky it's not um, it's not difficult to do so so yeah there you have it um, that is how I got two Wonderland 222 notebooks inside of the oh whoops I forgot my weekly supplement so two Wonderland 222 books inside of the Lauren Phelps cover. So I hope that this has helped you. 
um, inspired you in some way. If you have any tips for me on um, using this cover and, you know, um, maybe doing this a little bit better, I think um, one way that I can make this work is to glue these two covers together on the two Wonderlands so that it's not um, pressing out. But again, I don't want to do that until or unless I know. Uh, I could do that with my 2022, um, not this one, with the 2022 uh, dated. But this one that's right here right now is an undated. Um, so I won't be using that. That this um, Hobonichi notebook would also fit. So um, that's also a possibility if you have one lying around. Um, then that will also fit in here just fine. So, yeah, either one of them will fit, but it does not have the page numbers like the Wonderland and it doesn't have the timeline. And for the purposes that I want to use this, um, this is probably the way to go. Here is my A6 Stalogy half year, and so will Astalogy fit in here the same um, once you've stretched it out? And the answer is yes, it will. Um, yes, it will. So there's Astalogy in the Wonderland Planner with the Hobonichi Weekly Insert. And you saw the Hobonichi notebook with the Wonderland planner. Um, okay, and the Hobonichi weekly insert. And you now see the Wonderland 222. All right, and there's the Wonderland half year notebook in the same setup, but it's a half year notebook along with um, a little Hobonichi notebook. So I think without that, it would fit um, even better. But um, there you have it. That's how I did it. Just a regular old hair dryer. And um, I hope this helps people out there who are looking for a compact solution like me so that they can keep their tiny purse. Um, and and not feel like they have to carry around a big bulky um, planner cover. All right, um, thanks for watching and um, I will see you next time. And until then, I'm sending you lots and lots of love. Bye. Um, what is your favorite cover for your Wonderland planners?